So when reading at the top of the page, it just says that it's never unacceptable to change any of the parts of a figure. Okay, and also they're never typically drawn to scale. And it'll, it will even state that in your directions if not on the um, picture. But you can draw in new lines. So you can add lines, segments, or rays to your picture. That could potentially help you solve the problem. So if you recall the parallel postulate, which was in the reading, it says through a given point not on a line, there is exactly one line can, that can be drawn parallel. And earlier in the year, in the first unit, we said that through one point you can draw infinitely many lines. Do you remember that? But there's only one that's actually parallel. So to note parallel, we use the arrows. Okay, so if you're looking at question number one where you have to find an angle, so number one we're trying to find the measure of angle W. We have to somehow add something to that picture to help us find W. You can see in the picture that they're telling you that this line right here is parallel to that line because of the arrows, but that's all you know. All right, so given that those two red lines are parallel, a method that you can use to solve it is to take your straight edge and you're going to uh, draw a line through the vertex of W that's also parallel to the two red lines. So I'm going to draw the line first and then move it just because it's easier with the line tool. Whoops. Maybe not. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, but you need to indicate that that line is parallel. So that arrow says a lot that you just add it so that it's parallel. Now, in doing that. With parallel lines comes congruent alternate interior angles, congruent alternate exterior angles, same side interior angle supplementary, and congruent um, corresponding. So I'm going to use an alternate interior angle pair. So this 41, there's its alternate interior angle right there. So part of W is 41 degrees. And then on the other side, I'm also going to use... I'm going to abbreviate alternate interior angles for this one. So if this is 35, this is 35. So W would be 41 plus 35, which is 76 degrees. And number two, we need to find the value of Z. So we're going to draw the line through the vertex of angle Z so that it's parallel. And I'm going to sketch it by hand this time. I'd like you to use your ruler. It's not too bad. And I'm going to make or put on the line the arrow. So I'm telling the person grading my paper that I'm drawing it parallel rather than actually stating it in words. And are we going to use alternate interior angles here to find Z or another angle pair. You could also use, okay, so this is 33, this is 33, right? A vertical angle pair. And then, um, if this is 33, this is 33, right? Or you could have known right from the start that these angles are which type? Corresponding, so they are congruent. And then, same idea. You could also find the supplement of 122 and then the supplement again, but it's just easier to, if you know the corresponding angle pairs. So therefore, now the whole angle, the whole is equal to the sum of its parts, 33 and 22 is 55. So Z is equal to 55 degrees. And last one, find the value of G and then give reasons for your solution. When I give reasons, I bullet. 
because I don't like to write sometimes in complete sentences and I don't want to write a big paragraph so I'll break it up into parts so in number three let's first extend the given parallel lines add in our line parallel through the vertex arrow, arrow, arrow. So move this up. So my first angle, so you have to note every angle that you find. And rather than writing, so when you're giving someone instructions on where the angle you're talking about is, what I like to do to let the person know what angle I'm referring to in the picture is I like to give them other labels. So I'm going to call this angle right here A and this angle right here B. And then I'm going to make note that at the end I'm just going to add the two angles G is equal to A plus B. So then now in my work or explanation I can say that angle A it's just easier in your explaining on the um, to the person who's grading your paper, which angle you're referring to. What is the measure of angle A? 56. Here's your alternate interior. So this is 56 degrees. And your reasoning, so you have to explain or give reasons, would be if two parallel lines, because it told you they were parallel, are cut by a transversal then alternate interior angles are congruent A and then how do you find B what's B equivalent to Mary 180 minus 144, which is 36 degrees. So B is equal to 36 degrees because if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then same side interior angles are supplementary. Okay, and then last we need to state the value of G which is 92. And that's because the whole angle is equal to the sum of its parts. So on this page, this table is broken up nicely based on what's on the screen. So these four first four rows go with the picture and it's important to know what's given in each section before you can then conclude or make your statement. Okay, so based on the fact that the lines are parallel, we have corresponding angles congruent, we have alternate interior angles congruent, alternate exterior, and then same side supplementary. So let's start with corresponding. So we know one, is congruent to angle four. We know alternate interior angle four is congruent to angle 5. We know 1 is congruent to 2. And we know that 3 and 4 are supplementary. Okay, the reasons. 
Now you were told that they are parallel. So that's why each statement starts with saying if two, line, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. So 1 and 4 were congruent because they were corresponding. 4 and 5 were congruent because they were alternate interior angles. And I'm abbreviating because notes are okay. 1 and 2 are alternate exterior. And then 3 and 4 are same side interior. So because we were told that the lines are parallel, we can then make those conclusions. So let's look at the next four rows. What's told there? Is there anything in the given? column. That would be these four. No. So I'm going to give you those. So I'm going to tell you, we're going to number these one, two, three, and four. So the first row, if I tell you to start that angle um, four is congruent to angle five. So if you know that, you now know the lines are parallel. So your then concluding statement would be M is parallel to N. Because notice it doesn't start with if two parallel lines. We're told that if two lines cut by a transversal form congruent four and five are what angle pair? Yep. Again, I'm going to abbreviate. If two lines cut by transversal form congruent alternate interior angles, then you know the lines are parallel. If they tell you in number two that angle one is congruent to angle two, you know the lines are parallel. Because those are alternate exterior. If they tell you that 1 is congruent to 4, those are corresponding angles. You know the lines are parallel. And last, if they tell you that 3 and 4 are supplementary, you can then say the lines are parallel. Then that's because if two lines cut by transversal form supplementary same side interior angles, the lines are parallel. So you have to be careful with what's given and what you can conclude. So take a look at the last two and see what you can conclude based on the pictures and what you're told.